Well, it is day 11 of the Daniel Fast. Actually, it's uh, getting late in the day. Tried to do this earlier, and the the video actually uh, actually failed. So, if you hear stuff in the background, that's the uh, dishwasher with the dishes from Next Group that we had here at our house tonight. So, uh, pardon the uh, the noise. It's always something in these things. But today was uh, was day 11 of the fast, and today we prayed that we would have audacious faith, that we would have uh, the kind of faith where if God says it, then we're obedient and, and we do it. Praying that God would make us more dangerous instead of safer and, and praying God that would give us that kind of faith. So uh, that's what I've been praying for you guys today is that you would have that kind of uh, audacious faith that uh, we believe that God was big enough to actually act on our behalf and both personally in our lives and then corporately a, a, as a church that that, um, that God's able to, to, to act on our behalf, that if he says that we're supposed to do something, that we just believe it and, and we do it. So uh, that's what we've been praying for ourselves personally and what we've been praying that the, uh, the church would have as we, uh, we wrap up this series. Sunday's going to be an exciting day at the Sun Coast. Uh, we're going to be uh, celebrating all the stuff that we've uh, been talking about. We're going to be having a communion. We're going to be having baptisms and a child dedication. Uh, we're going to be signing the covenant. We're going to be bringing the tithe. Um, just a bunch of stuff. We're going to break in the fast. We're going to have um, cereal and milk for everybody to uh, to break the fast on a, on Sunday morning. Um, so it's a big day. I hope that you you won't miss it. For some of you, um, this is the Sunday that you need to get baptized. As we prayed, that we have audacious faith. That's the step of faith that maybe you need to have. Is that you need to get baptized this Sunday at the Sun Coast. What a great statement of faith to uh, to make. This is your Sunday, I believe, for many of you out there. So bring a change of clothes and a towel, and uh, and we'll dunk you in our kiddie pool on uh, on Sunday. Also, um, parents, um, child dedication is this Sunday. I uh, would love for you to participate in that. What a great statement of faith to say for your child, you know, birth through fifth grade, that, you know what, God, we're going to dedicate this child for your purposes. And we want help from the church. We want help from you raising this child. We're going to dedicate them for, for your purposes. So uh, bring your kids after the service uh, to the baptism pool, and we'll dedicate them. And then we'll do, uh, do baptisms this Sunday at the, uh, at the Sun Coast. But, um, guys, I um, was thinking about all this and the things that we've been going through. We've been talking about... Um, all the things that we want God to do, that we want this to be a, a movement and not just you know a message series that kind of flames out. Um, and, and part of this thing of praying for audacious faith is is not faith in what God can do, but faith in who He is. And I hope that we don't get caught up in that. That we get caught up in that. Okay, because we did X, Y, and Z, that means that God's going to have to come and do. Basically, the kind of faith that I'm hoping that we have is a faith in who God is. That He is a good God. Faith in His promises throughout Scripture. And, and faith that um, that we're going to obey him no matter what. So that's the kind of faith I'm praying for you guys. You will have an audacious faith. Man, it's noisy in here. That we have an audacious faith um, personally, and that, that spills over into all we do as a church. So be praying for me as a leader that I'll have audacious faith that will be dangerous and not a safe church. That we want to be a dangerous church. We want to be a church that changes this community. So guys, the fast is almost over. Um, really, only Friday and Saturday left. And this thing is going to be done. I heard a, I heard a cool story tonight, or a guy in our next group, um, just about the stuff that God's been doing in his life throughout the last two weeks. So, guys, uh, keep the stories coming. Would love to hear those. And uh, sorry this is so late, but hopefully you've been reading the books of Acts. Uh, you should be on, let's see here. Today we were supposed to read uh, chapter 21 and 22. So if you're behind a little bit, that's what you're supposed to be, chapter 21 and 22. All right, guys, you guys are the difference makers, I believe, in this church, and uh, that's exactly what we, by God's grace, are going to do in this community. All right, see you tomorrow for date number 12.